Hello, every <coughs> Hello everybody, how are you today? Punk Vinyl Tag 2024. That's what I'm here for. Let's do it. Started by the magnificent one and only Tommy's Vinyl Note. I put this link in the description below. So, uh, yeah, he set the rules, rules of the game. And let's just get on with it. Question number one. So, loudest, dirtiest, most pissed off record of 2023. I had to settle for this Canadian band, Settle, uh, <laughs> Settle, Sell Death. It's a demo tape, uh, clocking just over four minutes, six songs. It's fierce stuff. I, I, the girl just, the girl singer encapsulates somehow anger very well. <laughs> Yeah, put out by Suicide, uh, also from Canada. So, Cell Death gets my vote. But an honorable mention goes to my friend's band, Aresti from Finland. Uh, Helsinki Karia band. Inis Navetta, Human Barn is their album from last year. Really fucking intense, also. A little bit like the. Reminds me a bit of the new Tervet Karet album, but uh, in, in all good ways. Show a reissue or a compilation of 2023. Well, my pick will not has not been reissued in 2023, but 2013. But uh, I, I bought it last year, and I think this is an excellent record. I have always wanted this on uh, vinyl. I never owned it on any format. So, Department of Youth Services, Brotherhood, 1983 album, Straight Edge, Punk, with Dave Smalley, 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 Dave Smalley, uh, on this one as well. Fucking great. And an album, insert of that DYS, just came on a regular in black vinyl, <clears throat> this one that I have anyways. <clears throat> Task number three, show a record of a band that made a comeback in 2023. I'm gonna go, although this is not technically a comeback of a band, but this is a comeback of 50% of the original lineup of a band, which is No Miss No. And uh, Dead Bob put out, I think it came out April 2023, which I immediately bought uh, on Bandcamp and uh, very stoked to hear the news and see the album come out finally. So this is the drummer John Wright of No Means No. He decided to continue make music. And this is sounds like, if you know what No Means No sounds like, this sounds like that. Black Wax, I just got this earlier this year, but I purchased this um, online from Supreme Echo Records from Canada, and lyrics also. So I'm really stoked about this. This is definitely the comeback record. Show a punk record from 1984. Well, look at that. I only have three records that are, have been released in 1984, and I have the actual original copy pressing. So I'm going to show those three. One of them being Husker Du 8 Miles High, 7 inch. One being Subhumans from the Gradle to the Grave. And thirdly, which is also a segue to that following question uh, Teenage Head, what was the Endless Party, live record. And the next question will be about live records. No, I'm skipping questions. Uh, next one, show a D beat crust or an album that is pure punk and roll. I'm just going to show a record that is. Pure punk rock and, and fucking great one that is Feel the Darkness by Poison Idea. Mm. All right, now the live albums question. So, show a record. Yeah, basically just show a live concert uh, record. Uh, Joachim, Middle Life Crisis Rants, was kind enough to VCLT this to me uh, last fall already. So, uh, yeah, Slop Seconds, one of my favorite bands, I would say. Thanks for that. And another one, this I found in Finland, already showed it on my Finnish uh, Thrift Store Finds video, but uh, here you go. Local Life by the Ramones, great find. Show a colored LP that looks like vomit. Well, I don't have one or I just got bored looking for one, but I'm gonna show two album covers that make me think of vomit and they kind of look like vomit because they are not very great. First one is Didi Ramones, Ain't It Fun. I, it might be that this album was known with another name 
uh, overseas uh, in the States, then ain't it fun? But uh, this looks pretty bad. <laughs> and the other one is Disco Zombies compilation on double LP. I think this is just, you know, it's not just the colors. The colors can be even okay, but uh, I don't know. This the package is just trash. 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 Something like in street trash movie, that kind of slime vomit. Show a punk record that has a leather jacket for a skull or a mohawk. I'm gonna go only with a uh, leather jacket. Uh, yeah, just not to hog time. So I'm gonna just keep, stay with one. I didn't have one that has all the three, but uh, yeah, queer or however that is pronounced. Great French uh, lo-fi, one man synth punk band. Good stuff. Show a DIY style punk and or tape and or mixtape. I'm gonna show three mixtapes. Well, two actually. This is from uh, Jason Skills. Uh, low noise Jason Skills. He visited. <laughs> he visited me this uh, one year ago already. So uh, uh, I'm sure I thanked you already, brother. But thanks again. Um, it, it's it's not normal. <laughs> it is normal, not normal mixtape of uh, sounds. Uh, next one, Tom is Vinyl Not uh, mixtape that he sent me last year, I believe, was all Kekko Slovakia a little bit all over the place on the popular side of radio play music. And the last one is a Distrahera Hysteric Ilska. This is a hardcore band that I played in. This is from 2003, and this is, I think, the singer Gregor, who is also in the Aresti, what I showed. Uh, he just made, I think, a handful of these for each band member. So I have even written the length of the tracks there. But this is very DIY demo. Maybe this should be reissued on limited 30 edi uh, edition. Show a punk for punks. I'm gonna show three. First one, I got this as a matter of fact from Gregor. This is a big shout out to my friend Gregor in Finland. Gregor and his girlfriend, Sari, he, they gifted me this John Waters book, Shocky Arvo, uh, which is shock value in English. So I um, haven't yet started that. Actually, none of these books I have yet started. Second one, I got this as a gift also from uh, Greece. This is a British punk magazine, B BHP. I was not familiar with this one. So this is their all their issues from 91 to 95. Ah, sugar even. I have to put a bookmark there. And this I got from my wife as a birthday gift. Thank you. She pre-ordered the you know, No Means No book from, from Obscurity to Oblivion. Uh, Jason Lamb and Paul Prescott put this together with Forward by Fred Armisen. That, that guy is everywhere, knows every band in person. Got the hardcover version. Thank you, my love. Looking forward to diving into this book. This is, yeah, I guess how everything started. Book about No Means No. Show a t-shirt or a merch you bought from a gig. Well, <coughs> it would be this t-shirt that I bought from Imploder's gig in Austria, Vienna last year in October. I drove two and a half hours per direction to see a 22 minute show, which was all worth it. I mean, there were more bands as well, but uh, they weren't as exciting to me as Imploder's were a fucking great band. There's also a link of a couple of songs that I put on my channel if you want to check there in the description. Show a record that has a song about Me Too or Punks Too. Well, <coughs> I didn't really have anything at least. <coughs> Excuse me. I couldn't find anything really. But this goes pretty close. This go comes pretty close. And it's Catisfaction. It's a female alternative indie rock band from uh, France. Uh, I really like this one, Kill Em All. And they have a song called Kill All The Pat Patriarchs. <laughs> Kill All The Patriarchs. What? Pat Patriarchs. Kill all the patriarchs. Show a record that has a pure punk attitude but is in a different genre. I have to shout out, once again, Gregor is in one of the shout outs. So, Gregor plays drums in this band, which is my best friend Carlos Free Jazz band, Pan in Cuoro. And this is total punk and a very noisy kind of that. And they just had a double cassette come out. So, double album on double cassette. How cool is that? Okay, show a record you have the most copies of, and what the hell, so, well, this is not punk, but I have the most copies of this one particular record. That is Van Wieser, 
This is the glow in the dark version. I have on neon pink, which is still sealed. Got it from a bargain bin. And then I have two on yellow. And here's one more on yellow. So I got the yellow because I pre-ordered them when it came up. I was supposed to come out pre-pandemic and everything got delayed. Once they finally sent me, the first one was pretty fucking warped. So I complained and they sent me a re replacement copy. Didn't even have to send the first one back. And that as well was warped as shit. So, but time and being on the cubes of the record sh uh, shelf, they have straightened up a little bit, enough. But th they both play. So maybe I will gift one of them one point, I'm thinking, I don't know. I mean, it's not even that great of an album. One of these yellows I will gift definitely or sale. Okay, so, so a record that has leaders or a president or something like that on the cover. I'm sure one of these people is not really good with names on this particular cover, but to hell with it. This one. Ratus Imsitun Sairaita Epe. A band that is about half my age, I guess this is. It's not on vinyl like so many other things on this what I've been showing, but this is Hungarian Halot ki Kijok. Kijok. I don't even know what it means exactly, but uh, it's it's very noisy, noisy noise rock, and uh, I think they are in their twenties, something like this. These people, I, I, I think, I have a pretty good feeling they are. Okay, record I'm waiting for the most in 2024. That is a hard one. I don't really know. I've been thinking of that and I don't know why I cannot come up with something, but uh, so I'm gonna choose what Joachim chose. I think it was Sloppy Seconds that they are having an album this year, later on, which I didn't know. This is what I remember him saying, so I'll go with Sloppy Seconds. Punk lyrics that have inspired me in 2023. Well, I have to go for Dead Bob, the song Just Breathe, the opening track on that album. And the lyrics are, they resonated with me last year quite a lot. And favorite punk lyrics of all time. Well, hey, surprise, surprise again. It will be no means no. And same guy who wrote the lyrics for Just Breathe of Dead Bob song. So I put here my favorite bit. We are living in a midnight dark ages. Haven't seen you some daylight in what seems ages. All the information is locked far beyond. Locked in circuits and made in silicon. And we're bad to sleep with a dream. Okay, and lastly, show a record that described the vinyl community's current state. Uh, that was a hard one, but I'm gonna show this hard ones record. Most people are nicer than us. And who are us? Something to think about.